Mm-hmm. And then these niggas coming home and niggas, niggas, niggas accepting these niggas, man. Cold case file, baby. And that man, that that was that 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 that's why they that's why they that's why they Cold rebook case. you. Cold case on that on that on that murder from thirteen years ago. Cold case, homie. And look, everybody know what's happening with me, man. I know what come behind, you know what I do, you know what I'm saying? I know the consequences and repercussions of what come behind it. To court today, Christopher Dorsey, better known as local rapper BG, pled guilty today to gun charges. Dorsey admitted that on two occasions, including on this YouTube video, he possessed guns, despite being a three-time convicted felon. He also pled guilty to obstruction of justice for trying to get an associate to claim ownership of the guns. Dorsey will remain behind bars until the sentencing in March. A New Orleans rapper has been sentenced to 14 years in prison for illegal possession of firearms and obstructing justice. Christopher Dorsey, also known as BG, was also sentenced to three years of supervised release by a federal judge. The 28-year-old pleaded guilty in December to being a felon with a firearm after being caught by the NOPD. Nigga, I ain't telling him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna tell him, man. Man, damn, that black and white don't lie. He don't lie. The year is 2010. Kendrell Washington, a 27-year-old resident of New Orleans, Louisiana, pled guilty in federal court before U.S. District Judge Sarah Vance to illegally possessing a firearm. According to documents filed in court on June 16th of 2009, NOPD detectives conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle in which Kendrell Washington was the sole back seat passenger. During the subsequent investigation, law enforcement located a bag of green located on the back passenger seat as well as a 9mm Beretta on the back seat floorboard. Control Washington was facing a possible maximum sentence of 10 years of imprisonment, a $250,000 fine, and three years of supervised release. Sentencing was set to be scheduled for May 10th of 2010. If the case were to proceed to trial, the government would prove the defendant guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of this one count indictment. In the indictment, the defendant, Kendrell Washington, is charged with knowingly and intentionally possessing and affecting a firearm after having been convicted of a crime punishable by imprisonment for a term exceeding one year. The government states that it will establish the following through reliable and competent evidence, including testimony from two key witnesses. On June 16th of 2009, at approximately 7.20 p.m., Detective Steve Gaudet and Sergeant Ryan Lebrano of the NOPD 6th District Narcotics Unit were on patrol when they would observe a white Ford pickup truck traveling at a high rate of speed on Phillips Street. As the truck neared the Claiborne Avenue and Phillips Street intersection, the detectives would observe the truck disregard the stop sign and turn right on to Claiborne Avenue. The detectives will conduct a traffic stop based on the observed traffic violation. The detectives who were in an unmarked Chevy Impala equipped with lights and sirens would turn onto Claiborne Avenue and pull behind the truck with lights and sirens on. Detective Jason German and Brian Phillips would also pull up behind Detective Gaudet and Sergeant Lebrano to assist with the stop. The white Ford truck would pull over at the intersection of Josephine and Claiborne. The detectives noticed that once the truck pulled over, the occupants were moving around erratically inside. Detective German would approach the driver's side while Detectives Gaudet Phillips and Sergeant Lebrano would approach the passenger side. Based on the erratic movement, the officers would elect to instruct the occupants to step out of the vehicle for the officer's safety. The individual later identified as Christopher Dorsey, aka BG, was in the driver's seat while the front passenger seat was occupied by Dorian Blunt. As the backseat passenger identified as Control Washington stepped out of the truck, Detective Gaudet would observe in plain view a plastic bag of Reggie 
The bag was partially covered by a shirt on the passenger seat. Detective Gaudet would then detain Cantrell and retrieve the bag. Once Detective Gaudet recovered the green and stepped away from the truck, Sergeant Lebrano would observe a black barrel protruding from underneath the driver's seat on the back side of the floorboard. Sergeant Lebrano retrieved the weapon and discovered it to be a 9mm Beretta with serial number BER129 419Z. Once Contrera observed Sergeant Lebrano step away from the truck carrying the Beretta, he would state that the gun and green were his. Contrera would then be placed under arrest and taken to the 6th District. Detectives would also learn that Contrera was previously convicted of a felony in 2006 in state court in Houston, Texas. On June 12th of 2006, Contrera pleaded guilty to manufacturing and delivery of a controlled substance under docket number 1030600 and was sentenced to two years of imprisonment. As such, Contrell is precluded from ever legally possessing a firearm. Detective German contacted ATL Special Agent Jennifer Dorick, who would arrive at the 6th District Police Station shortly after. Contrell would again state to Special Agent Dorick that the handgun was his. Contrell also informed Special Agent Dorick that he obtained the gun from his girlfriend in Houston. Special Agent Dorick would take custody of Contrell as well as the green and the firearm and federally arrest him for being a felon in possession of a firearm. In addition, both Christopher Dorsey and Dorian Blunt would give statements stating Christopher was driving, Dorian was in the front passenger seat, and Contrell was in the back seat. Both individuals would also give statements that they were unaware that there was a firearm in the vehicle. They were both also confirmed that the firearm was Contrell's and that Contrell admitted to the firearm being his and that he obtained the firearm from his girlfriend. Finally, Cantrell would admit that on June 16th of 2009, he was in possession of the above mentioned firearm and he acknowledged that said conduct constitutes violation of his status as a convicted felon. What y'all think? Is that snitching or not? Dude took his charge for the blick in the trees. Dude did give a statement saying that he would testify in court that the blick in the trees were for dude. The case never went to trial, so Doogie never took the stand to testify. Is giving a statement to them dicks saying that he was testifying in court snitching? Let me know in the comment section. Stay plugged.